What is up, you guys? Sarah Herring here for Poker News. And as of August 1st, the WSOP online bracelet events are going to be playing out exclusively on GG Poker. And as a result, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little taste of five things that you might not realize about the GG Poker online series. The The very first one, which I think is super, super cool, and actually one of the reasons I was the most excited about GG to begin with, is staking. Now, this staking is slightly different and should give players a much better opportunity to find value and to hopefully make some money because you are allowed to stake going into day two but I will have the man who knows a lot more about what's going on tell you himself. All right, peeps, so you already know that GG Poker has a staking platform within the client where you can back players, right? Well, guess what? As of now, in phase tournaments, you can buy pieces of players on day two. So imagine you see, you know, Fedor Holtz with a big stack. You think to yourself, yum, I want to buy some of that. Or maybe there's a guy in a shorter stack and you think, I know he plays short stacks really well, so I'm going to back him. In addition to that, let's say you build a big stack and you say, you know what? I wouldn't mind locking up a profit. So you sell yourself at a markup, lock up a free roll, and then you try to run it out and win some money for your investors. So this is gonna be really good for you sellers. And also most importantly, you smart investors out there, you're gonna have more information to make better bets throughout the entire series. And I know a good bet right here, okay? Just say it. So when I'm up, just, you know, buy, because I'm gonna be selling. The second thing which you may or may not know about what's going down on GG Poker for the WSOP is that if you end up with multiple event tickets, you are able to convert those into tournament dollars regardless. So, you know, if you're lucky enough and you win multiple online event tickets, don't worry. Your hard work is not going to go to waste. And after the series has finished, your unused tickets can be ex exchanged for those tournament dollars and you can use them on any tournament at GG Poker. Uh, yeah. The third thing that I'm super excited about, I'm for those who checked out the schedule when it was released, there were three events on the schedules titled People's Choice. So these are events that have yet to be decided, uh, even though they've been sort of announced. The actual buy-ins and the formats have not been determined yet. There's one that's going to be a pro's choice. There's one that's going to be a people's choice. And so you just definitely want to keep your eye on the GG Poker socials to see if you can help choose what tournament you want to be a part of and also to stay tuned to figure out exactly what these tournaments are going to look like. I have a feeling they'll probably be some of the favorites for the obvious reason that these are the ones that people are wanting to play. Number four, best stack forward. So I've spoken about this in another video, but essentially any player that makes it to the end of day one with a stack is allowed to take part in additional day ones if they want to, provided they haven't exceeded the maximum number of re-entries. However, if you finish multiple day ones, you carry your best stack forward into day two. And of course, there's always going to be, you know, speculation about whether or not, you know, this is such a disadvantage to maybe the more recreational player who isn't going to have the buy-in to, you know, fire multiple bullets. But we also have to consider that when people are firing multiple bullets and only carrying one stack forward, this is a great deal for the prize pool. And ultimately, is it just me or are we trying to make that money up top? Uh, either way, it's, I think it's a really interesting it's a really interesting approach, and if you didn't know, now you know. That's number four. And last, but certainly not least, number five is that you are going to want to take advantage of bubble protection. So it's available all throughout the WSOP online, and it's available for non-phased events with buy-ins less than $1,000. So this means that if you register before the start of play and go on to bubble the tournament, you receive your buy-in back. Now, this is available for at least 18 of the 51 WSOP online events on GG Poker, and this is something, from what I've seen, pretty much unprecedented. This is a super, super cool feature and option, and I definitely recommend you guys take advantage of that. Now, 
I've only given you guys five tips, but there is a fantastic article I will link below, which will include 10 things that you actually don't know about the GG Poker online. It's a fantastic article, which includes a lot of other things like ways to satellite in. They have huge, huge satellites, record breaking satellites to get in and a lot of different various ways where, um, you know, depending on your bankroll, you guys can get into some fantastic, fantastic tournaments. So you guys want to check that out. And also if you haven't yet, you want to sign up to GG poker through pokernews.com. You can get up to $600 in return on your money, a little bit extra, and you can see exactly how you will be able to do that. If you follow the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching and of course, good luck the rest of the series.